For airmen in the Oklahoma Air National Guard's 146th Air Support Operations Squadron, or ASOS, routine training often involves jet aircraft and multiple airdrop munition systems. The primary mission of the ASOS is to provide ground commanders with proper coordination and control of close air support missions. As you can imagine, the cost for this training adds up quickly, so it is sometimes limited. But now, they can train anytime they want with a unique simulator built just for them. This is the Air National Guard Advanced Joint Terminal Attack Controller Training System, more commonly known as AAJITS. It's the first and only system to train Joint Terminal Attack Controllers, or JTACs, and it's housed at the Will Rogers Air National Guard Base in Oklahoma City. The simulator took 28 months to develop at a cost of $2 million, but it will pay for itself quickly when you consider some aircraft needed to support an ASOS mission could cost nearly $45,000 per hour to fly, according to the 146th ASOS commander. This allows us to go back to the basics and do it over and over and over until we don't make any mistakes. The simulator can also connect to a network of simulators, so these ASOS members can train with real pilots operating aircraft simulators in another location. So we can have other pilots that are in a simulator somewhere, whether it's a B-1, A-10, F-16, they can be tied into our sim and, and we'll get to see them and their capabilities. Quantadyne will be installing numerous systems across the U.S. this year, including systems for the active duty Air Force and the Marines. For Waltemeyer, the simulator will be an invaluable training resource. I can have my traditionals come in at any time they've got free time and, and fire up the sim and train, and I think that's going to be huge. Reporting for the Oklahoma National Guard, I'm Army Staff Sergeant Christopher Bruce.